Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. Today we're looking at a top load Fisher & Paykel washer and the complaint is it's not draining the water out. So uh, what we're gonna need to do is take a look at the drain pump. To do that, we'll need to tip the washer back and get underneath. Okay, we've gotten the tech sheet out of the control panel area. It's uh, located underneath the control panel on the left side. Just three screws to remove to get that out. And we're getting the drain pump error code or pumped blocked error code here. And we can see that it's recognizing, the control is recognizing that uh, the machine hasn't drained all of, all of the water out. It recommends to check to see if there's anything clogging the pump, um, check the drain hose, things like that. The tools needed for this repair are a multimeter. All right, so during a drain cycle, we can hear a drain pump humming, but it doesn't sound like it normally does. We can take the bottom shaft of the drain pump here, this little external fan, and we can rotate it to see if it's you know binding up, if the impeller's stuck, or if there's anything inside clogging it. And there's not, this is moving freely here, so I still wanna take it apart, take it, the drain pump off and check inside, see if anything's clogging it. So um, what we'll need to do with power unplugged is we're gonna remove our harnesses here, our ground wire, and then our drain pump harness over here. I just pull straight off. And then we're gonna remove the drain pump. To do that, no tools required, just a tab we're gonna pull up on, and we're gonna rotate the drain pump counterclockwise. About a quarter of a turn. Now we can re remove the drain pump here. So you can see our impeller here, and that's what we were spinning as we were spinning the other side of the drain pump. So nothing, nothing there. Bearing's good, nothing binding it up. Nothing inside of here clogging it up or anything. So we know that we had power going to the drain pump because we could hear it. It wasn't running. There's nothing binding it up or clogging it up. So we're gonna have a bad drain pump at this point. Um, another check you could do to be sure, or another check we need to do actually just to be certain is we're gonna check, take a voltage check here. You could check the drain pump for ohms, um, but that necessarily isn't going to be a positive kill on this. We're going to check for voltage to make sure that the control board is sending down the right voltage that it needs to run this pump. So we'll get it back together here. Line that up in there and rotate it clockwise until that notch gets past this clip here and it'll stop also. And we can plug everything back in. Okay, we can do this with the harness on or do it with the harness off. We're gonna take our multimeter. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our meter leads on the power harness here for the drain pump. And then we're gonna plug the unit back in, put it on a, a drain cycle. All right, so now, it's on a drain cycle, and we do have 120 volts here. This is a 120 volt pump. Uh, so we are getting the correct power down to our drain pump. We'll need to replace the drain pump for this repair. All right, so we'll need to remove the drain pump again. Just gonna unplug our harnesses. Push up on the tab. All right, remove the old one. All right, we're gonna reinstall the new drain pump. Line the notches up here in the pump with the grooves in the metal bracket and rotate it to the right clockwise until it stops and this should be locked in place now behind this tab. Reinstall our wiring. And now we just need to fill it up with some water, run it through a drain cycle and make sure everything's working and that will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.